Sepsis is when you have systemic blood infection, and that could lead to systemic inflammatory response, multi-systems failure, and death. It's one of the most lethal conditions that people see in hospitals worldwide. The problems in treating sepsis is that it rapidly progresses within hours to days. When a patient comes to the hospital with sepsis or develops sepsis in the hospital, they stabilize, they treat with fluids, with massive doses of intravenous antibiotics. The bugs that your body kills or the antibiotic kills release toxins that then trigger a systemic inflammatory response. There are proteins called cytokines that release. What we're doing here that is novel is being able to remove the live and dead pathogens. But in doing so, we're actually showing that we can reduce the cytokine storm. The idea we come up with is that uh, if we remove the pathogen and endotoxin from the blood, we thought we could uh, save the septic patients. At the VIS, we turn to nature to inspire us. Many of the pathogens in the body are normally cleared by the spleen. So we try to mimic the function and microstructure of the spleen that continuously remove the pathogen from the bloodstream. The idea was through a dialysis-like device, we could have the blood go out of a patient and we would mix in magnetic nanoparticles, very tiny particles, that we'd coat with a capture agent that would bind pathogens. And then we'd literally use magnetic forces to pull the pathogens out of the flowing blood. And the cleansed blood would go back to the patient. The big challenge was figuring out what to put on these nanoparticles because you, didn't, you don't know what the pathogen is. And often you never know what it is in patients with sepsis because you have negative blood cultures. Then, again in nature, we mimic the native immune protein, mannose binding lectin. We have extended its spectrum of bindings and we engineered that so we could put it on magnetic beads. And it binds over 90 different pathogens, different types of bacteria, fungi, viruses, parasites, and toxins. What we've done here in a true VIS-like way is we combined both the devices and the physical separation with genetic engineering and, and protein engineering to actually target specific molecules and we actually found that it works unbelievably well. We think um, we can provide tremendous the impact in sepsis treatment.